Hey everybody, this is Nero from the Overclock Magazine and today I'm here to talk to you about the Z690 Aorus Master. This is my little preview of a review that's coming in a little bit later on. But just on paper alone, this motherboard looks incredible. We're talking about a recommended retail price of around $469. And at that price, what Gigabyte has been able to put together on this motherboard is second to none. So let me just run you through some of the features that are available on the motherboard so you can appreciate just how much they've put in here for a staggeringly good price so number one we're talking about just for the v core we're talking about 19 direct phases right that is incredible and it's not just 70 80 or 90 amp power stages these are sps 105 amp power stages which means you can throw ridiculous amounts of power onto this motherboard and it will not bat an eye but more than that let's talk about connectivity on this motherboard so you don't only get one two three four but you get five m.2 sockets one of which is gen 3 and the rest are gen 4 unlike many motherboards that have come before or at least at this price point this one does actually give you a header for thunderbolt it may not have the actual port on the rear io but should you so need to use thunderbolt it's right there so more than that let's just get on with the bios and all the new features that gigabyte has added so there is something that we have seen before when it comes to the gigabyte bios it's been ported over to ddr5 but it works much in the same way and this is called ddr5 auto boost so what it basically does is automatically boost the ddr5 frequency to 5000 megahertz for instance when you are using a ddr5 4800 kit the other thing that i look forward to the most is actually the ability to program in your own settings for dram and when i say program your own settings for dram i mean actually saving them to the sticks so what this motherboard allows you to do is basically figure out what timings that work for the kit that you have and once you are happy with those timings you can actually commit them to the memory and by that it means you actually have an xmp user profile that is made intuitive to use and easy to set up in the gigabyte bios it is one of the key highlights for me for this platform because i haven't used any other motherboard that allows doing this this easily and gigabyte has a very intuitive user interface that allows you to do this sort of thing you simply pick the settings that you want to use you apply them click set and bob's your uncle that's pretty much it but we'll explore that feature as we go on and when i do the full review so let's talk visuals quickly this is easily the best looking gigabyte motherboard to date and i know that's a bold claim to make because i used to be such a huge fan of the assassin motherboards from way back but what gigabyte has put together now is so elegant so well designed and it just exudes build quality now again i go back to the price point where i saw this motherboard for 469 dollars retail and i just think that it is incredible that you can get the sort of attention to detail this build quality and just the component selection and list at that price point i have yet to be convinced that there's another motherboard that can pack in this much at this price point it's it's just an absolutely beautiful motherboard and I would forgive anybody who would think that this should be a $600 motherboard. It is perfectly deserving of selling for that kind of price just based on aesthetics alone, at least from where I'm sitting. Overall, I look forward to testing this motherboard and putting it through its paces. With that said, I look forward to giving you a full review and a rundown of this incredible motherboard. But until then, remember to share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. So take care and peace.